The Mechanics of Ascension, 2012 and Beyond, by Danny Searle. Part 4, The Blue Star Prophecy, Earth Under Fire. When the Blue Star Kachina makes its appearance in the heavens, the fifth world will emerge. There will come a time when a blue star will appear in the sky. Its light will shatter the darkness of the night. This blue star will bring a wind, a wind like that which has not been seen on Earth in a long time. The blue star will bring a fire. This fire will be so bright and hot that it will transform the matter of the universe. The blue light from this star is a signal that shall end the fourth world. The blue star will cause the oceans to rise and topple upon the land, flooding the world. All living things will perish in this great catastrophe. Dr. Paul Levielat, author of Earth Under Fire, discovered an ancient message in the Zodiac. Scorpio and Sagittarius are the only ones among the zodiacal signs to incorporate arrows, and both are next to each other on the zodiacal wheel. They appear to be intentionally pointing out the location of Galactic Center. Sagittarius's arrow misses Galactic Center by 2.5 degrees of longitude. It was perfectly on target around 14,000 BC, but it was not until 1917 that astrophysicist PhD Harlow Shapley calculated the center of the galaxy, but he was off the mark by 3.3 degrees. So it turns out that the ancients were eight times more accurate. Our solar system is situated about 23,000 light years from the galactic center. Our sun and earth lie at the fringe of one of its spiral arms. The outline of the spiral arm is visible to the naked eye, which we know as the Milky Way. However, the galactic center is hidden from our view. The galactic center only becomes visible during a galactic core outburst. Spiral galaxies have two phases that they go through. Safet galaxies are in an active phase, or galactic core outburst. Galaxies that have a normal appearance are said to be in their quiescence phase. About one spiral galaxy out of six is a Seyfert galaxy. Galaxies are in their quiescence phase about 80 to 85 percent of the time. So in other words, every once in a while a galaxy goes An active state can last from hundreds of years to thousands of years. There is abundant evidence that our galaxy has been active in the past. The Hopi people of North America have a legend that there were three other worlds before this, the present world. Each of these worlds was terminated by a great catastrophe. The Hopi believe that this ending will be heralded by the appearance of Sakwasoha, the blue star spirit. Sakwasoha will shine brighter than all of the stars in the heavens. These legends promise that one day, the present world will also come to an end. And although the blue star spirit brings forth the end of this world, she also plants the seeds for the next one. As we can see, the Hopi knew what they were talking about. Active galaxies can shine brighter than the galaxy itself. This series of pictures taken by the Hubble telescope captured this event in stunning detail. In the last frame, the bluish white light is so bright that it masks the light from the actual galaxy spiral arms and stars around it. So the Hopi's legendary appearance of a blue star could be referring to an explosion of our galaxy's core. Legends from various cultures around the world describe the occurrence of terrible natural disasters affecting the entire globe, from wild weather, tornadoes, tsunamis, 
volcanoes and earthquakes. Popol Vuh of the Mayan Indians, the sacred Zoroastrian text, the Buddhist text, the Visud Himaga, the Maharabha Vaga text from India, the myth of Phaeton and the sun chariot from Greece all speak of similar catastrophes. During any explosion there are two phases. Phase one is the blast wave. This is a shock wave or a wind that is not actually visible except for the debris that it throws up, but it is certainly felt. This is what would blow you down if you were near it. The second phase is the heat wave, often seen as a fireball of intense heat. When a galaxy explodes, it is not any different to any other explosion except it's on a massive scale. Our galactic core has already exploded and the first phase, the shock wave or wind, is already en route. This is known as a galactic super wave. In fact, we are already seeing and feeling its effects. As the super wave flies through the galaxy, outward from the center, it picks up and pushes dust out in front of it. This dust has already started to hit our sun, causing it to flare and heat up. That is why we are hearing reports of more solar flares now than in the history of recording these events. And they are only going to get more intense and more frequent. Furthermore, this is the real reason for global warming. In fact, all of the planets and moons in our solar system are heating up according to NASA's latest findings. And notice in this picture, there's Nibiru, yeah! This image was taken from the NASA website. Within the superwave is an element called synchrotron radiation. Synchrotron radiation is electromagnetic radiation. The particles are accelerated by a magnetic field emitted by the superwave's cosmic rays. The radiation that is produced ranges over the entire electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to infrared light, from visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays and gamma rays. It can pass through all matter, including people, but more on that later. Even though NASA knows that at least one superwave has left the galaxy center, they are not telling anyone just yet. Well, except for a few of their staff, of course, in this video message that was leaked and put onto YouTube. The reason why they're keeping it quiet is that there is no way they can see it coming or even detect it at this stage. So they are trying desperately to put new satellites into space that can measure and see the superwave coming. Of course, even after the superwave hits, the second part, the fireball, is still to come. This will cause what the ancients called a conflagration. In other words, a firestorm of global proportion. The myths say that the fourth world will be destroyed in order for the next world, the fifth world, to begin. These are the prophecies that have been handed down from generation to generation among the Hopi. They are considered the most important prophecies of these people. The Hopi prophecies say that with the coming of Sakwasuha, the fourth world will come to an end. The Hopi tell us that this extinction event has happened at least three times in the past and science actually agrees. Indeed, scientists know that the Earth has experienced three extinction events in the past. The Permian, the Cambrian and the last time was when the dinosaurs went extinct during the Cretaceous period. To ignore the Hopi prophecies now would be to invite disaster. The earth has already been wiped out at least three times in the past by a super wave. The ancient Maya, Hopi and many other cultures have left us warnings about an impending disaster. A superwave has already left the galaxy's core and will be arriving in late 2012. The next superwave will destroy this world and herald the next fifth world or golden age. 
but only those that are suitably prepared will make it to this fifth world. In part 5 you will discover how to activate your 12 strand DNA which is necessary if you are to survive the supergalactic wave. This one is not to be missed.